Well, howdy varmits. In this video, we'll be unboxing Spiral Prismatic Packing that I got from Russia on eBay, and we'll do a short review of how it differs from the scrubbies we all know and love. <coughs> And welcome to Open Source Distilling, where time-honored tradition meets modern-day technology. This channel is dedicated to challenging and modernizing home distilling traditions in an apartment setting. If that's something that you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. So I got this still packing from Russia last year, and I'm just getting around to using it and pre preparing it for the very first time. Now, as per the manufacturer's suggestion, I got the smaller SPP. It clocks in at 3 by 3 by 0 0.2 millimeters. And uh, they make a bigger size for a 2 inch column. But because my column is 1.3 meters high and 2 inches wide, uh, this is the recommended size for my column. Now, the smaller you go with SPP, uh, the slower you have to run it, but the more pure your product comes out. So it's a trade-off between speed and purity. In other words, the smaller packing gives you more theoretical plates, but you just can't juice as much power into it without flooding the packing. My still is made of copper, so I opted in for the stainless steel version of the spiral prismatic packing. If you're interested in buying some, I'll include a link, an affiliate link, down below. You'd be helping out the channel. And check out my blog post in the description for more detailed uh, information about SPP and some commercial examples of it. Commercial stills get very impressive numbers out of small column stills. Now the first thing I recognized about SPP as opposed to scrubbies is the weight. I tell you, my column is a whole lot more heavier than it was with the scrubbies. I was actually worried that I may damage my boiler if it got tipped over. But good news, it's not too heavy to, to use with a keg. Now the heavier mass means a more thermal mass inside of the column, and that helps stabilize the temperature gradient and the gradient of volatiles that builds up inside the reflex column. For cleaning, I boiled the spiral prismatic packing in a 50-50 mix of vinegar and water. I let it simmer for, geez, I don't know, 15 minutes, and that was long enough to stink my apartment up to holy hell. So I really do think you should do that step outside if you have the opportunity, or maybe play around with using something like citric acid to clean it instead. Next, I poured off the oily top of the water in the stock pot. Carefully poured that off so none of the SPP would get contaminated with it again. Some grit actually built up on the side walls of the stock pot. So I grabbed some paper towel, I wiped off this black residue and just gave it a good wipe down before I continued. Once all the grit was gone, I went ahead and rinsed the packing with cold water again and, again and again and again until all the smell of vinegar was completely gone. So I drained out the remaining water and then I used the stainless steel mesh uh, stoppers that the guy from eBay gave me. Now these are just for like regular stainless steel scrubbies except the wire is a little thicker on them and I kind of uh, folded it onto itself to get a tighter fit in there and crammed it in. I then used a funnel and poured in the SPP. When that was done, I used the second stopper to put a plug up on the top. And there we have it, the pack column. We'll use this in an upcoming video where I use it for my vodka spirit run. In the comments down below, let me know what kind of packing, if any, you use in your still, and if you use copper or stainless steel. I'd be interested to know. And 
Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if you liked it, please give a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. It really means the world to me. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you all very, very much.